Alright, hello and uh, welcome to another video. Today we're uh, having a little wander around Deptford. We're going to uh, head over towards Greenwich and uh, see what we find along the way. So we are uh, having a little wander around, see what we find, and um, yeah, a little bit about Deptford then. So um, initially it started off here by, uh, was well, two different villages, one by the uh, seashore, by, by, by the river shore even, and another by uh, what is now the town centre of Deptford, the main high street area, and then they connected up, and it was actually uh, Henry VIII who set up the uh, royal dockyards here in Deptford and uh, it attracted many many sailors over the years uh, one such person was a man by the name of Henry Morgan uh, who actually um, got the inspiration from the St Nicholas's Church here uh, with the skull and crossbones as you walk through there for the Jolly Roger flag the skull and crossbones that we know uh, so well as the pirate flag uh, it is said that is just a legend so uh, whether it's true or not I'm not sure there you go take away what you will from that uh, but one thing he did inspire was the actual uh, brand of rum called Captain Morgan's and uh, You can find that in any bar other brands are available um, But over the years it has attracted many many uh, famous faces and famous names uh, Peter the Great of Russia came here to uh, learn shipbuilding and uh, It's also uh, accredited to uh, Sir Francis Drake, when uh, Queen Elizabeth I knighted him on the uh, Golden Hind. Uh, Sir Walter Riley, Riley, 
don't know how you pronounce that, but this is where he actually uh, apparently laid down his cape as well for uh, Queen Elizabeth. And um, it's also where Captain James Cook set off on his third voyage around the world. So let's go and have a little look around. We'll go and explore, see what we do, and uh, we'll head over towards Greenwich. Let's do it. Started off originally uh, on the tea trade uh, on the run from uh, England to China via the Suez Canal when it opened up in Egypt. Uh, only did it for a few years, then it moved on to the wool trade from Australia back and forth, and then uh, it went out of business for a while. Got sold to a Portuguese company for a while, and um, there are actually only three of these original clipper boats left. This one right here. There's one in Australia, and there is also one. Uh, or the shell of one, the skeleton of one, on uh, a beach in Chile somewhere, uh, South America. So there you go. Uh, let's go and have a little look, a little bit closer.
Okay. Out of breath, but there we go. That is the lion right there. The Meridian. Time line. Straight through that building. I'm out of breath. You can see. And so there's a line that people are walking up and down on. It goes all the way out there, up, and over the O2. All right, here we go, listen up. So you do have to pay to go inside to stand on the line, just up there where them people are. You can see that shed right at the top there. That's where the Merid Meridian Time Line goes through. But I'm not paying to go in there. So the line literally goes through this park. So if you come down here, line yourself up with that shed roughly about here we're pretty much standing on it one leg in the east one leg in the west and there you have it so uh, just up there you can see that's the shed right there line yourself up here and uh, you too can be in two places at once both the east and the west that's going to do it for this video. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And uh, did you learn something? I don't know. We were just winging it as we went there. So um, if you did learn something, put it in the comments below. Why not? And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, that's about it, really. Uh, from here in uh, Greenwich where time was invented. I'll leave you on that one. See you in the next video. Take care.